Ed, yeah, so down this roadway, Capitol Avenue is where main recycling is is at and that is where Robert Card used to work and that is where Robert Card's body was found at 745 tonight. Police sources telling our sister station WMTW that his body was actually found in a dumpster. Now that opens up so many questions. How did he end up there? Um, and, you know, John brought up a, a really good question earlier. You know, where was he? His car was found about a mile away from the recycling facility at the boat ramp here in Lisbon, where police were searching for days, including diving in the water to find any clues of where he could be. And tonight we are learning that his body was found at this recycling center that's behind me that is being uh, combed through by a heavy police presence to try and determine how Robert Card got there, dying of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to police. Ed? So, Jen, give us a sense, if you would, of the timeline that you experienced. I mean, there was a press conference at 5 o'clock this mm -hmm. afternoon, and then, and then we heard tonight that at 7.45 they discovered it. I imagine the chaos in that period of time, in those two hours and 45 minutes, must have been exhilarating almost. So much chaos, that is right, Ed. At 5 p.m., we were told that uh, police have not seen Robert Card for the past two days. Searches are happening everywhere. Heavily armed uh, police, federal agents are all over Lewiston in Lisbon. And then two hours and 45 minutes later, police end up finding his body here on our way from the bar uh, where Card allegedly uh, killed multiple people. We made our way to Lisbon and we saw multiple uh, state troopers, uh, police cars, helicopters in the sky. Something was happening and we needed to figure out what that was. We ended up here and that's when uh, law enforcement sources started confirming that his body was indeed found so, here. It, it was very chaotic. It happened very, very fast. What time was that, Jennifer? Because we're just trying, they did, did not release a lot of information out of that press conference except to say that he is dead mm -hmm. and that the community can mm -hmm feel some sense of relief. But in terms of piecing all of this together, they say that they're going to answer these questions at a press conference tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. But you were there and all of a sudden you got there to the scene. So his body was found at 745. What time did you see all of that or, or confirmed, confirmed? What time did you see all of that police activity? When we saw all the police cars and tr trooper vehicles coming here, it was about um, 9, 940. 940. About 940. It was around that time. And yeah, we were we were making our way down here around um, 830. Right. And then that's, that's right. when we know we just started driving around and, and trying to figure sure. out where they were going. And, and, and around that time is when um, we got word that his body was found. Just, just and you mentioned it during your report, just to fill in again to make sure I heard it correctly. WMTW was saying that he was found in a dumpster on that location inside inside of a dumpster now how he got there we don't know you know there are so many questions did he climb in and then do what he did um so so many unanswered questions right now ed but uh, an alarming detail of this investigation right, right now and right. of course as you can see behind me police are still trying still to there. trying to piece it all together yep. right yep. And, yep. and hopefully more information tomorrow at 10 10 o'clock apparently the medical examiner is there on the scene and they have to confirm and do their investigation there and then then more details will be released. hence the word we use apparent before we say suicide exactly. apparent suicide exactly. thank you jen for that